Welcome back to Perkins Pipes. You may remember a few episodes ago, I showed you some estate pipes that a friend of mine uh, had managed to uh, acquire and, and simply gave me. Needed to go through a little bit of restoration and that project is done. So let me take you through a few of the steps of the restoration and then we'll take a look at the final product, which is sitting right back here. Well, with what you see before you, it must be time to do a little bit of pipe restoration. You may recall in a previous video, a friend had gifted me some estate pipes. And so we're gonna do some uh, restoration with these guys. And the first thing we're gonna start off with, um, we're, we're gonna start off with the bowls. So I'm going to remove, remove the stems here. And we're gonna do the uh, alcohol and uh, uh, salt, kosher salt, soak. I'm going to let these soak overnight. And we're also going to get started on some of the stem restoration as well. So, so here we go. So the first thing we want to do with the, uh, with the bowls is to do a little bit of reaming. So we're gonna get the, the reamer set out here. I got this at the Briar and the Burley in Bloomington, Indiana. Uh, wonderful, legendary uh, brick and mortar pipe store. Highly recommend uh, the Briar and the Burley. Obviously you can find a set like this uh, anywhere online. But we're gonna start off with, I'm uh, just kind of checking these out here. I kind of see what uh, size we might uh, need and we'll just work our way up. So we're going to insert the, um, insert that into the handle and uh, we're just going to give all of these uh, a little bit of a ream. So what we're going to do is uh, get this set up. I'm going to put a little, uh, some paper towels down here and we will start the reaming process uh, before we move into the soak. So I'm going to put down a little bit of uh, some paper towels here, maybe keep from too much of a great, big, glorious mess. But then again, mess is kind of fun, right? Mess is a little bit of, a little bit of part of it here. Uh, so we're just going to do a light, uh, light reaming uh, here, not wanting to go uh, too far. Obviously, we're just loosening up some of that cake and... Um, we're just going to do that and with each one. Going to work our way up to um, the, the larger uh, pieces here. So just giving that a little bit of a uh, yeah. You can see some some stuff coming out of there. And really, as I've looked at these, um, these are in pretty good shape. Um, now this guy needs a little bit more a little bit more work here. So anyhow, we'll keep doing this uh, and then we'll show you the alcohol and salt soak. So as you can see, that brought out quite a bit of, uh, of gunk, right? Some, got some of the cake out of there. And of course you don't want to ream so deeply that you go down to the wood. So I'm gonna take this guy now and throw this away. And so now what we want to do is uh, we're going to fill the bowls with this kosher salt. And uh, there's lots of videos out there about doing this, why kosher salt is the best, but it, uh, uh, it really just helps to uh, soak up uh, anything. So all I'm doing is, is filling this bowl up with kosher salt. And we're gonna fill that all the way up. Just a little bit of room there at the top. Any alcohol of choice, a lot of guys like just to use vodka, uh, something without a flavor, didn't have any vodka on hand. I don't mind that there's a little bit of, uh, of some whiskey here. So we're just gonna fill that guy up. Oh, before we get started with that, good thing I, I just remembered. Uh, the other piece is you don't want you don't want everything to just come running out, um, uh, running out here. So what we're going to do is take a 
uh, Q-tip. And all I did was have some plastic here. Uh, we're just gonna wrap that up uh, in plastic. Actually gonna kind of fold that up. Uh, really just cut up a plastic bag, uh, baggy uh, is all that I did there. I'm gonna just fold that up kind of nice like that. And then we're gonna wrap that Q-tip up there. And then we're just going to put that, just gonna put that here into the shank and really get that in there tight so that uh, nothing comes running out, okay? So that's what we're looking to do there. Um, and then, so we got that in there uh, snugly. Actually, you know what, let's, let's unfold that just a touch, shall we? Let's unfold that just a touch. We've got a little bit, uh, a little bit too much thickness there. So now we'll be a little bit better. And uh, we're just going to put that into uh, the shank. There we go. And then we're just going to pour this uh, a little bit of alcohol in here. We're going to fill that up. Just let that fill up there. Uh, we got room for a little bit more, a little bit more salt. So we'll fill that up uh, a little bit more with some more, a little bit more salt there. And then we will uh, fill it up more again with the alcohol. So that sits in there. Oops, made a little bit of a mess there. But that's okay. And so what we're going to do is solve this uh, from a fellow on YouTube. Uh, we're going to use the uh, the egg carton, the egg crate here, uh, as a place to set this. So it's got a, a place to rest uh, as it uh, as it does its thing. And we're going to let that sit overnight. So we're going to fill these up, and then we'll take you to the next step. We'll start talking about stems. So now we've got these guys filled up with the kosher salt and a little bit of alcohol. We're just going to let that sit for uh, 24 hours. Tomorrow we'll take it, empty that out, uh, and clean out those bowls the rest of the way. So we're just gonna set this aside now. And start to take a look at these stems. Now, uh, some of these stems are, are pretty rough. Um, you can see uh, you know, quite a bit of the oxidation there. Uh, a lot of uh, teeth marks, a lot of chatter there as well and this guy even uh, has a whole we're gonna have to replace this uh, stem here so no question about that but i'm going to remove the medico filters here uh, from from two of the medico stems and what a fella had done uh on a uh, one of the youtube videos came out looking really good i'm going to do this for for uh four of these and do something different for the others, uh, is uh, just some, some uh, OxyClean and throwing some of that into uh, some water. And again, we're just gonna let those soak overnight. So I'm gonna take a couple of, um, take a couple of spoonfuls uh, of, the, uh, of the Oxy here, OxyClean. You see what we're doing? I'm gonna put a couple of scoops in there was the recommended by our fellow on YouTube. And uh, you can certainly link or go to the links, sorry, not links, um, the playlist uh, here on Perkins Pipes channel. And uh, we've got a playlist on um, pipe repair. And so if anybody has other videos they really like, we certainly invite you to uh, share those. We'll pop those in the playlist as well. And so uh, there we go. So all I'm going to do is pop these stems in. Now, there's there's two that I'm not going to. So uh, there are four that do not have any particular markings on them. So we're just going to plop those into the solution. And again, we're going to let those sit overnight. There are two, however, that have some markings and... You can do this, uh, he was suggesting that you could, I think, put Vaseline over uh, markings. This one has the, um, 
the white club here is what's leading me to believe that this is a K Woody. And this has the um, uh, GJ logo on the stem here for Georg Jensen. So because of those, um, I just, I don't want to mess that up. All right, so we're going to work our way up through uh, from 800 to 2000 uh, grit sandpaper and then through the uh, micro mesh pads. So that's what we're going to do next uh, to see how those work. And we'll let you know. So we're going to start with the 800. Um, I'm going to work on this Georg Jensen uh, a little bit. And, uh, you know, we're just giving this a fine, fine rub with the 800. See if we can get some of that oxidation off there. Restore this guy. Maybe something close to his original look. Yeah, we definitely see see stuff coming off here. One thing we do want to be careful about is getting close to the button uh, on the stem. We don't certainly don't want to sand that flat. So we'll be very careful there. Likewise on those edges. So here we are after 24 hours of letting these uh, bowls sit with the uh, alcohol and uh, kosher salt. And as we can see, uh, that has really soaked up a lot of the gunk. Uh, it's even soaked up in through uh, the shank here. So we're going to, uh, here's what, really what I'm gonna do is just uh, take this out and uh, kind of clean out the gunk. I'm gonna use just a pipe tool here, uh, clean out the gunk. And then uh, we're gonna just use regular pipe cleaners and clean these as you would ordinarily clean your pipes. So, really, we're just going to do that. See what this looks like as we clean out the soaked up salt. And uh, we'll kind of set this off to the side here and uh, just kind of see here this, this comes right out. And you can see that the salt, if you look at that, uh, there is kind of, kind of this brownish color. Uh, it is certainly soaked up the nastiness and so get all that out of there and uh so that it's done a nice job and it's done what it's supposed to do uh, and so obviously i don't need to really go through and, and show you all of that right now but you know i will do that with the rest of those now when it came to the stems, I had said that there were the two that I was going to do just with uh, with uh, the sandpaper and the uh, sanding pads, and that was these two. And I decided not to. I decided after a little bit of that, I was like, "Man, this is quite frankly too much work." Uh, so I decided to soak them uh, up to, but not including the area around. Like this one has the white um, club on there that I believe is the Kate Woody, and then this has the a mark of the uh, a Georg Jensen. So I just kind of hung those in the bowl. I will go ahead and do the the uh, sanding uh, around that part. I just didn't want to do the whole thing after I kind of got into it. I decided I didn't want to do that. So uh, here we go. And while you can see that just pulling these out uh, of this, uh, this mixture uh, has certainly cleaned them up. And now uh, this guy's still, I don't know, I'm not sure what's going on here. I may have to do some more work on that fellow. Maybe that was that color originally. I don't know. I don't think so. Um, so let's just kind of wipe this off and kind of see what we're looking at here. May still need to do a little polishing. Uh, may still need to do a little bit of, uh, of sanding and 
so forth. Obviously, we want to hit it with a little something to uh, to polish it up. But boy, that already is at least this one uh, is looking much better than it was. Same thing, really, here for this this Georg Jensen. We've got uh, both of these medicos look pretty good. These are the two the two medicos. Two medico stems. So they look pretty good. Now this is the guy that has the bite mark all the way through it. And uh, we'll say something about this here, uh, maybe here in a little bit or another day or so. I'm gonna I've got an idea that I want to try with this stem. So we'll talk to you about that uh, later. And this was the, um, this is interesting. This is interesting. So this was the stem from the, uh, from the Savinelli. And boy, that still looks kind of like an army green, olive green there. Uh, although there is some black coming through. So I just may need to be hit with some, some of the sanding paper and so forth. Um, and then here is, the, uh, what I think is the K Woody. So we'll let those uh, dry off, hit them with some sanding, and uh, you know, we'll show you some more later. So let's be very clear here. I am not a professional pipe restorer by any means. In fact, really, this was my first attempt at doing any kind of real pipe restoration. So take it for what it's worth. I'm reasonably pleased. Let's take a look here at the, uh, the first of these. The one I believe is a K Woody because of this white club here. Still have a little bit of work to do to try to find uh, some more information about this guy. Um, stem, stem came out reasonably reasonably nice and uh, didn't have to do a whole lot of work uh, on the bowl. Uh, obviously, we did the cleaning and the, you know, the reaming and the, the salt solution cleaning, as you saw there. Um, did a little bit of work around the top and just had to wax him up. The next guy is the first of the two Medico pipes. And I wasn't able to get out all of the chatter uh, on the stem. I uh, tried the heat treatment uh, for that. And um, I don't know, it, it's certainly good enough uh, to smoke. Uh, again, got the stem looking pretty nice. Had to do a little bit of more work uh, around the bowl there, a little bit of some sanding. But um, again, got him looking pretty nice, certainly ready to smoke. The second of the two Medicos is this guy. And uh, again, the stem, uh, you can just kind of see there, uh, definitely still has some chatter to it. Um, just that it, it is what it is. Uh, this one, I did have to do a little bit more work around the bowl. I had to do a little bit more uh, sanding. I actually did a little bit of some staining. And uh, with the Fibings dye, or the Feebings dye, somebody's got to tell me how to pronounce that. Uh, standard leather dye that we, we use on pipes. Uh, and again, wax Tim up, and he is certainly ready to go. Now, this is the guy that I am uh, kind of proud of, just because of some a little bit of ingenuity. Um, we'll show you here a moment in a moment uh, a picture of the stem as it was. Uh, in fact, let me let me go ahead and bring that into the video here. So as you can see, the stem originally, uh, it was pretty rough. In fact, it even had a hole uh, that had gone all the way through the end um, uh, around the, the button. So I got to thinking, I thought, well, you know what, I'm gonna have to replace that. And then I thought, no, I'm not gonna replace that. Um, what I decided to do was just cut the end of the stem off um, using my friend, Mr. Uh, scroll Saw. Cut the end off, uh, used a file, to uh, create a new a new button. And I'm kind of proud of that guy. The stem came out nice, uh, really nice looking um, uh, uh, billiard here. It, again, just says made in Denmark. I don't have any other uh, information about this one, so a little bit more uh, research perhaps, but uh, very eager to give that a guy a try and certainly proud of how that uh, stem turned out. And finally, we moved to the, uh, the two black rusticated uh, pipes. Absolutely gorgeous. 
uh, this a, a little Savinelli. Uh, stem came out just great. Very pleased with that. Uh, ended up doing a, uh, some re-dyeing uh, with the black. A little bit of wax, and boy, is that going to be a nice smoker, I think. Uh, very much looking forward to getting into this. This is the, um, the Savinelli uh, King's Cross. And then finally, we come to the Georg Jensen, which again came out quite nicely. Uh, here in just a moment, we're going to show you some before and after uh, pictures of all of these. But the stem came out quite nicely. And again, I restained the uh, restained the uh, the stumble, put some wax on that guy, and again, can't wait to give him a smoke. So let me show you the before and after pictures. As always, tell us what you think. Um, really eager to hear your comments. Uh, hope you like them, and these will certainly be appearing in videos coming soon. There was a man who walked the earth, diesel and dust, feet in the dirt. He showed us love, he showed us life. Showed the way he was alive. Follow me, he's calling for today is the day. Follow me, he's calling. There is no other way. Today is the day 